Hi guys, what's going on? GH here. I hope you're all doing great even with what's happening in the whole world. In this video, I'm going to show you guys my tier list for the Archer classes in Tree of Savior. We're gonna put them in different rankings being 1 as the best and 5 is the worst. That said, here is my tier list for the Archer class 3 in March 2020. Let's do this. Okay, let's start this, shall we? The first class that we got right here is Appraiser, the only hidden class in the Archer class 3. In terms of damage, it's on the low side, but its utility is decent, so as its buffs, and we're gonna put him in rank 3, a mediocre class. Now, oh my, the newest class in the Archer class 3, and it's Arbalester. Its AoE capabilities are decent, the skill factor are a bit low, single target is a bit questionable. One good thing about this class is it's nice to play with. You can spin around and deal damage to surrounding enemies, they did a good job making it fun to play with. But it all boils down to how strong it is. And our Lester is not that strong. Based on what it can do right now. I'm gonna put it in rank 4. To be honest, I wanna put this in rank 5, but the class is undoubtedly fun to play with. And that's why we play. So we're gonna put it in rank 4. Next class is Cannoneer. This is a very good AoE DPS class, but in terms of single target damage, it's mediocre. If you're looking for an additional area attacker class, this will be a good pick. But comparing it with how useful the other alternatives to this class, it's not as great. We're gonna put Cannoneer in rank 3. It's not a bad choice. You can take this especially if you're having fun with cannons. But the alternatives like Falconer is just better. And speaking of the devil, we got Falconer next. Now Falconer, this is the class you pick if you wanna add a bit of AoE and support capabilities. There's also an art for this that gives you an additional invincibility skill when using Hanging Shot. Right now, this class is pretty good and considering you can add this to any build because it does have any kind of weapon constraints, you can use this with any weapons. We put Falconer in rank 1. The next class we have is Fletcher. This is a boss fighting class and considering all you do, well, most of what you do in end game content is fighting bosses. This is a very good class to have. In terms of AoE, it's meh. But its boss fighting capabilities outweighs that. We put Fletcher in rank 1. And now Hunter. This is the buggiest class in the Archer class 3. I don't know what IMC wants to do with this because they aren't willing to fix it. The AI is still crap. When you use skills like Rush Dog or Coursing, most of the times, it wouldn't execute. But when it does, it's pretty good. Growling is pretty awesome when doing challenge mode and of course, the loot buff skill gives you comfort that you may have a higher chance of getting something. But does loot chance really work? I farmed a lot in this game and I can tell you for sure, loot chance is worthless. Especially for the really good items. Anyway, let's go back with Hunter. We put him in rank 3, a very useful class but it's also very buggy. Now Matros, we usually take this when we already have Cannoneer or vice versa. This is another exceptional AOE DPS class but if we rank this based on what it can do alone, I'm going to put it in rank 3. It could be rank 2 if paired with Cannoneer. The next class is arguably the most popular Archer class. This is primarily a two-handed bow user class. In terms of AoE, it's decent. Single target or boss fighting capability on the other hand is pretty good but not amazing. We put Mergen in rank 2. The next one we have is Musketeer. This is another exceptional single target DPS class. You get to headshot and snipe enemies with this but the AoE is crap. Some of its skills tries to be AoE but the execution of the skills is just not that great. Nonetheless, 
Musketeer is a pretty awesome and fun class to pick. We put this in rank 1. The next class of the Archer class 3 is Speed Piper. This is largely a support class that can increase damage and gives you invincibility. In terms of its support capability, this could be rank 1. But most of its support skills are party buffs. And it doesn't have anything to give you other than that. It's pretty focused on party buffing. So we put Speed Piper in rank 2. Next class is Quarrel Shooter. This is the class that primarily uses crossbow, much like our Balester, but this is less fun to play with. To make matters worse, it's bad with AoE and single target. I don't wanna elaborate anymore, this class is not good at the moment. We put this in rank 5. Coming up next is Ranger. Now Ranger is a class that is usually taken because it increased range damage and critical hit damage. The question to ask here is, is it good enough? In my opinion, it's not that worth it. But I'm not saying it's completely terrible. It's very, very usable. A lot of people use this. It's just you can get more out of the other classes. So we put Ranger in rank 3. Next class is Sapper. Now Sapper is a trapper specializing in traps that can deal mostly area attacks. Damage that you can get here is decent, nothing out of the ordinary. In terms of its overall usefulness and utility, I kind of want to put it in 2. But the damage isn't that great, so we're gonna put Sapper in rank 3. Second to the last class is Tiger Hunter. This is another musket wielding class, but this one specializes in hunting down beast types and increasing damage against bosses. Its skills is pretty decent, it's usable. The thing that is good about Tiger Hunter is the majority of bosses in game is beast type and most of the end game is focused on boss hunting and that's where Tiger Hunter shines. The problem with this is the execution of its attack skills is not that good but thankfully the buffs, the passives is acceptable. So we put Tiger Hunter in rank 2. Now for the last class, Wugushi. This is the poison user class which is decent in both AoE and single target. The problem is it doesn't excel in both. It's slightly better with boss fighting, especially if you can benefit from debuffs when you solo a lot. But with the skill factor on the low side, we put Wogushi in rank 3. And that's it guys, I hope this will help you pick classes easily. And how about you, what's your top 5 archer classes? Share it to us in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the gaming hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Art Cool. See you in the next one.